Turning to weather tonight, bringing in the Weather Authority meteorologist John Sauer. Snow moving into central Indiana mm -hmm. just in time for the morning commute. That's right. Now, the good thing about the snow that's coming in, we're not talking a wet snow. It's going to be dry, but that's also bad because with some wind around, it's yeah. going to be blowing all over the place. And it's also bad for the kids that are off school tomorrow because it's not good snowball weather or good snowball snow because, again, it's going to be very dry snow. But it's going to be very fluffy. And you can see it's blowing around right now up into northeastern Tipton County. A live look from Windfall, Indiana, showing you all the snow that's out there flying right now. We'll drop visibilities for a brief period of time. Already had a report of about a half inch of snow up in the Frankfurt area. And uh, we'll just keep adding on to those numbers through the overnight. You can see a couple little bands of some moderate snow beginning to fall right along I-65 from Johnson County down towards Columbus. I was just checking our camera down in the Columbus area. Not seeing any snow falling just yet, but it's not too far away. Also, another little pocket of some heavier snows moving into Madison County right now, uh, just to the south and west of Alexandria, to the northwest of Anderson. These will keep moving off to the east. We've had a little band moving through the Hamilton County area, moving through Noblesville, up through Cicero, just moving out of Westfield and up towards Sheridan. Those will keep moving east as well. Here is future view starting at 1130. Not doing too bad of a job in where the snow is currently located. The snow will actually begin to pick up in intensity between 6 o'clock and about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Here we are at 8 a.m. and you can see this next wave begin to move in. This is ahead of a cold front. The front will pass through the area by afternoon. And I think by around noon, we'll start to see the snow beginning to taper off, although the cold front is still back to the west. You can see it demarked here by that little line of snow on the leading edge of that cold front. Once the front passes through the area, our temperatures will begin to drop back behind it and winds will begin to pick up out of the west northwest. So how much snow by the morning commute? Well, this is what you can deal with in Indianapolis. One to one and a half inches of snow. Same in Bloomington and same in Carmel. And just a little less than that in Muncie between one and maybe 1.4 inches. Then as you're driving home from work, we'll add Add on an additional one to two inches of snow in Indianapolis, an inch and a half to two and a half inches in Bloomington, one to two more inches of snow in Carmel, and one to two more inches of snow in Muncie. All totaled, we're talking generally one to three inches of snow in the areas in lighter blue, and the darker blue, we're talking two to four inches of snow, and I think we could end up with a band or two that may produce as much as five inches of snow out near the Illinois-Indiana border, especially out towards Terre Haute and just south of there. But you can see how the computer models are starting to hint. We may see some bands of pockets of heavier snows developing out there with a four inch or higher amounts. Right now outside we've got 17 degrees. We've already reached our low temperature for the evening. Winds are turning around out of the south. Across central Indiana we're sitting in the middle and upper teens to near 20 degrees. By tomorrow morning by 7 a.m. I think we'll get up to 20 degrees. 19 in Muncie and 21 degrees in Bloomington. Through the day tomorrow cloudy skies the snow for the morning. Temperatures will rise up to right around 27 to 28 degrees and notice what happens once the front passes. We fall pretty quickly. By 5 o'clock, we go down to 20 degrees, and winds begin to kick up, and wind chills will be down near zero towards the afternoon. A high temperature tomorrow of 28 degrees. Your seven-day forecast shows behind the cold front for Tuesday turns cold. One degree above zero Tuesday morning. We could see wind chills maybe 10, 15 degrees below zero when you wake up for Tuesday morning. A high of only nine, but then look towards the end of the week and even what next is weekend. That is 51 weird. degrees I don't by Saturday, that. 61 Sunday, and the chance for some strong storms coming in late Sunday night, Monday morning. Wow.